Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you're doing well. This is going to be my first ever candle inventory. I don't know if you guys have any interest in seeing my candles, but I mentioned it somewhere to someone and a couple people said that they'd like to see it. So here it is. Here's my candle story. I was never really that into candles, but years and years and years ago, there was a thing going around called party light. If any of you guys remember party light, let me know in the comments down below because I cannot be the only one. Basically, party light was like Tupperware for candles and a hostess would come to your house and show you all of the candles and the scents that you could buy and they had all the different sizes of candles and all the adorable candle holders and because you were going to your friend's house for this party, you felt an obligation to buy and so I did. So I amassed quite a large supply of party light candles from going to all these parties and I think I even hosted one myself. They came in these very undescript boxes and you could get tea lights or votives or pillars. It was all very exciting. Here's a little stash of tea lights. I bought a bunch through these parties. The smell of the party light candles was always good, but not great. It was all right. It was nothing like the Bath and Body Works candles that we all know so well today, but this was from a time before Bath and Body Works three wick candles were really a thing. So fast forward a few years and in malls all across America, right next to Bath and Body Works, up popped a store called the White Barn Candle Company and they were like sister companies. So the two always went together. You could shop at Bath and Body Works and get your soap and your lotions and your body sprays and then you could go next door to the White Barn Candle Company and buy your three wick candles. And everybody lost their freaking minds. Around the same time, beauty YouTubers started becoming a real thing and they would almost always have a White Barn Candle Company three wick candle burning behind them on their desk. It was huge. Everybody was running out to buy these candles and I was no exception. I kind of had it under control because I still had a ton of party light candles and the truth is I was never home. There was about 12 years of my life where I was working like 60 to 80 hours a week. So there was no point in buying and burning candles because I was never home. So I managed to steer clear of a lot of craziness for many years. Eventually White Barn Candle Company kind of merged into Bath and Body Works and Bath and Body Works just sells the candles now. I don't know if there are any more White Barn Candle Companies around anymore, but I haven't been to the mall in like 20 years. I don't know, there might still be one. I have no idea. I got in on the three wick candle game quite late. I would say it hit me hard around 2014 and 2015. I went to buy a candle for somebody as a gift and I saw how much they cost. And I just about had a heart attack because the idea of spending $22 on a three wick candle seemed like insanity. And the woman working at Bath and Body Works said, well, you should wait for the semi-annual clearance sale because that's when you get the best deal. And I was like, I must find out about this. So I wait for the semi-annual clearance sale. I go online and I lose my mind. I had, I think there were three semi-annual clearance sales in a row where I would spend like $300 because I couldn't decide which candle to buy. So I just buy all of them. I did not have the ability to make a choice out of the ones that I had. So I just bought every one that sounded good. It was crazy. After my third semi-annual clearance sale, I started to realize that I had a lot of candles. One, I should start burning some of them. Two, I probably could skip a semi-annual clearance sale and be okay. And three, I had a problem. So in June of 2016, I started my journey to less which means I discovered the minimalist challenge and I created my Instagram account called the long road to less, which I've had going ever since. I'm not as active on there as I am on my main beauty Instagram account, but I'm always keeping myself accountable through that Instagram account. On December 30th of 2016, I posted my candle inventory, 
which was something I thought I would do yearly like I do with my makeup inventory, but that was the only time I ever posted my candle inventory. So everything I am showing you today is what I'm comparing to December 30th of 2016 and the progress I've made. I still have those same Bath & Body Works candles from 2014 and 2015. I cannot believe it. I'm very proud to say that I have not shopped at Bath & Body Works for a candle since I started my account in June of 2016. I have been suckered into a few candle fundraisers, so I'll talk about those in this inventory. I did also have an impulse candle buy this year, which shocked me. After I walked away, I was like, I can't believe I just bought a candle. What is wrong with me? But I did. I bought a candle at a huge craft fair earlier this year. And I'm burning that candle now, so I'll talk about that one too. I've received one candle as a gift, but otherwise I have not bought anything in almost three years. So the numbers are going down overall, and I'm really happy to say that because I am at a point finally where I've decided I, once what I have is gone, I'm not going to buy or burn any candles. This is not just about getting my numbers down because I have too many. This is about just not burning candles from here on out. There is no judgment for me to anybody who loves to burn candles. Really, <laughs> I'm not judging anybody and their lifestyle. But for me personally, I've just gotten to a place where I think maybe I don't need to be part of this consumerism where I buy and burn candles. Yeah, they're kind of nice, but would I really miss them if I never burnt another candle? Would I really miss the soot on the wall? Would I really miss the waste that these products create? I don't think so. So my plan at this point forward, with the exception of an occasional impulse buy and a gift here and there, is to not buy or burn any more candles from here on out. So once what I have is gone, they're gone. I will say that if I could burn one candle in the spring and summertime, it would be a candle called Coconut Leaves. It was the best smelling candle I've ever smelt, and I was so sad when I finally finished it because it's gone. I have no idea if that scent is still available. And if there was one fall winter candle that I could only burn and I had to choose between one, it would be the Sandalwood Vanilla. I love that scent. It is amazing. So that is my top pick for spring and summer and my top pick for fall and winter. Those two scents could get me through an entire year, hands down. I love them. Coconut leaves for spring and summer, sandalwood vanilla for fall and winter. I'm good. All right, guys, I'm going to jump over to my inventory next. I hope you guys enjoy watching this. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, here is my inventory of candles. We are starting with my summer scents, my spring and summer scents. These are all the candles that I have decided I would like to burn, most likely during the spring and summer, although I might burn it at any time. I've just kind of, I've just kind of divided it up that way to make it easier for me. When I originally did my last candle inventory on December 30th, 2016, which is almost three years ago now, I had 27 spring and summer candles, and now I am down to 15. And I'm really happy to have seen this number go down. I do find it a little ironic that I bought all these spring and summer scents, but I tend to not really want to burn candles in the spring and the summer because it's already getting hot and I don't want to add any heat in the house at that point. But I'm going to burn through these slowly but surely. Okay, so here are the candles that I've decided would be best burnt in the fall or winter time. There are 17 of them here. These two candles were previously in the spring and summer burning category, but I moved them to this category because I thought they could also work for fall and winter, and since I'm more likely to burn fall and winter candles, I put them over here. This was recently gifted to me by a good friend. This is the Mahogany Teak Wood High Intensity Candle. This is a candle that I impulse bought at a fair in late summer. 
I don't know why I bought it, but it was a total impulse buy. And then these, of course, are all of the fundraising candles that I bought for my son's preschool. The scents are noted on the stickers. So really, that's the reason why this category went up so high. Like I said before, I have not bought any Bath & Body Works candles in three years. When I did this inventory in December of 2016, I was at 15. So this category has gone up by two. But again, these two moved over from a different category. This was a gift and all these were for fundraisers. So this is the only candle I've bought in the last three years. This one right here. I mentioned this in the intro, but Sandalwood Vanilla is my all-time favorite fall-winter scent. I love this scent so much. If you could bottle me up in a candle, this would be it. I love Sandalwood Vanilla. Okay, this is the last part of my candle inventory. This was two separate posts back in 2016, but because I have used up so many of these candles, it's now one post, which is really exciting because I don't want to have any of these candles anymore. This is the one I'm currently working on. It is in my 12 Pans of Christmas project and I've been getting some good use out of it since the project started so I'm happy about that. We also didn't have heat in here for about a week so I was really relying on it for a source of heat. This is the other three wick candle that I have. It's huge. And then these are what's left of my party light candles. There's some tea lights. More tea lights. And these I think are, votive. yeah, there are some votive candles. These are the last of my little pillar candles. That's party light. This is a soy candle from a company called Mia Bella. And that's it. Those are all of the candles that I have left to burn in my stash. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thanks again. Bye.